Hi everybody and welcome to ALS News Now on YouTube. ALS News Now is dedicated to the disease ALS, otherwise known as Lou Gehrig's disease. One of the most devastating diseases ever known to man. If you or somebody you love has been diagnosed with this disease, first of all, let me say that I'm terribly sorry. Uh, this is a very difficult disease and there's really just no way around that. My name is Mike Henson and I too have ALS. I was diagnosed in March of 2018 and I happen to have a little slower progressing variety of ALS that is more genetic uh, in nature. And so I've been a little more fortunate to be able to do and create uh, advocacy and things like the videos on this channel that you're going to see. ALS News Now was born out of an advocacy movement called No More Excuses. It was started by myself and my friend Craig Reagan in early 2019. So if you or somebody you know has recently been diagnosed, first of all, again, let me say that I'm sorry, but there is some hope now for this terrible disease. The first thing you should know is that over the last four years, an unbelievable amount of things are happening in our, in our disease. For years and decades, in fact, there was no hope in this disease. And sadly today, many doctors and experts are still operating under that assumption, which is incorrect. There are several new therapies that we'd like you to know about. And there are other things that have been recently achieved, such as the passage of the Act for ALS bill, which our 13,000 members had a huge part in getting that bill through Congress and then signed by the president earlier this year. Amazingly, there are still no effective therapies approved for ALS. Now, when I say effective, I think of effective in the traditional sense of what you knew before in a past life when you were healthy. When you had a problem, you would go to the doctor, you would receive a drug, and it would fix that problem. Two drugs that are currently approved for ALS progression are Idarvone and Rilazole. And as many of you may already be learning or be aware of, neither has proven to be as truly effective as hoped initially. So we want you to be aware that there are other things coming down the road in the not too distant future. One is AMX 35, which recently was submitted to the FDA uh, this year for potential approval, which is a combination of two compounds. One is an over-the-counter supplement called Tudka, and the second is a prescription drug that was already FDA approved called sodium phenylbutrate. The next therapy, which is the one that has created so much hope, but also a lot of controversy in the ALS world, is called Neuron. Neuron is a revolutionary new mesenchymal stem cell product from a company called Brainstorm Cell Therapeutics. Now, don't think of stem cells in the traditional sense. These are highly engineered stem cells that are designed to reduce neuroinflammation and to increase neuroprotective factors. Recently, Despite all of its past bumps in the road, Brainstorm announced last week, in fact, in August of 22, that it was going to submit a biologic license application for the approval of Neuron, which means that you or your loved one who was recently diagnosed or perhaps diagnosed within the last couple of years may be eligible to receive this therapy once it is approved by the FDA and we have every reason and hope to believe that it will be based on recently published data that indicates it is effective for patients above 35 on the ALS FRSR scale and furthermore showed great promise and even significant data in patients down to as low as 27 on the scale. Now I want to be clear there is no cure for ALS and Despite what you may be seeing from some of the other larger advocacy groups, it's unlikely that ALS will ever have a single magic cure, if you will. ALS, much like HIV in the past, 
and cystic fibrosis more recently, which has become 90% treatable now. Used a combination approach, in other words, a multidisciplinary approach to treat their diseases. This is exactly what must take place for ALS. It is highly unlikely that a single therapy would ever do all of the things required to control ALS and including regenerating human motor neurons. Any therapy, including stem cell therapies, should be approved or given to patients if they are safe and if they can provide some level of help. Truly, this is the correct attitude for ALS. And only recently is this be beginning to become an accepted practice, an accepted thought process. Also beginning to happen is Congress taking a great interest in ALS. Finally, after years of pushing very hard by patients, ALS patient advocates like myself and you and others we would like to invite to come join the fight at No More Excuses on Facebook. And the reason why is because, as one congressperson recently said, they have never seen this level of interest in ALS before. Truly, this is no doubt because of the fact that these new therapies exist and more are coming. This is the most exciting moment in ALS history. I invite you to really take a look at the videos we have to offer. We are unique in ALS because we actually do our own interviews. We produce our own content and in the future we will also be releasing a documentary that tells this story over the last few years and it is an incredible story. It is one of both hope and extreme disappointment. One of incredible achievement and also at the same time tremendous lost opportunity. So with that said, please enjoy our channel and I'd urge you to come join our group, No More Excuses, ALS Watchdogs on Facebook. And please join us as soon as you can and jump in the fight for your loved one. Now is the moment in ALS history. Thank you.